Earlier this month, we told you about a breakthrough medical procedure that's being attempted for the first time at the University of Washington. If it works, it could provide a better treatment option for those who suffer from a particular type of vertigo. And tonight, we follow up with the patient. My, my right. Uh, you're right, my right. When we last caught up with Gene Pugnetti, he was about to get an experimental ear implant. The doctors at the University of Washington hope will control his Meniere's disease, an inner ear disorder that causes vertigo. So the idea behind the vestibular implant is to serve as a pacemaker for the inner ear. Bye-bye. Uh, we know we can take animals and make them dizzy and stop their dizziness with the device. Uh, but we don't know that about Meniere's attacks in humans. Gene is the first human test subject. So this part of the operation is exactly the same as a cochlear implant. Dr. Jay Rubenstein helped re-engineer cochlear implant technology to adapt it for Meniere's patients. So please. So this part of the device is the same hardware as a cochlear implant, and it's the electrodes on the end that are different. We have to wait to see what the results are, but we're really hoping that this will change our lives. That's saying a lot for a man who used to scale mountains. Meniere's has been the toughest climb yet. The scar actually goes from right about here. Two weeks later, his scar barely visible, Gene arrived back at UW Medical Center for testing. We didn't really have expectations. The possibilities where the extremes were it worked perfectly or it didn't work at all and uh, we were expecting it to be somewhere in between those. I was totally in the dark. Um, they were able to turn on electrodes and give me the sensation that I was actually spinning. The more juice they gave me, uh, the, the feeling that the entire chair was moving uh, and was rotating to the right or that I was tilting or yawing. Uh, when in, in actuality I was sitting perfectly still. And I was able to describe it to them, and yet they were able to see that in my eye movements. We were pretty happy with the results. Gene will be back in a few more weeks to have his device switched on for its first real test, an attack of vertigo. I'll be able to push a button, and uh, the implant will send the correct signals to my brain and kill the vertigo. If it does work, as hoped, Gene may not be scaling mountains anytime soon, but he will be able to travel again with Switzerland at the top of his list. I have even greater confidence that in fact this is going to work and not just for me but for those that follow. Great prospects, huh? And the doctors remain cautiously optimistic. We'll keep you posted on Gene's mm -hmm. progress.